Lexus officially launched the fifth generation RX many months ago, and many have already placed a pre order. Lexus USA has launched a pre order guide on their website for potential customers to review so that they can select the packages or options they want to pick. In Canada, in order to get this information, you have to pre order, put a deposit in, and wait for your sales associate to get the package information so that you can select and decide on what packages you would like to get. In this video, I will look at the US pre-order guide and provide some insights on the Canadian packages for the RX350H and the RX500H. Hey, it's LSFT here today, and today we're here to go through the hybrid packages and options for the 2023 RX for the United States and Canada. We would be using the pre-ordering brochure that is publicly available for anybody to download, and then using that as the basis, I would present the Canadian packages and some of the details that I made note of while I got a chance to review it when you express interest in pre-ordering one. So before I start, I would like to make note that there will not be an F-Sport 350H like the NX350H in North America. So if you want an RX Hybrid F-Sport in North America, you will need to get an RX 500H F-Sport performance. And even if you got an RX 500H, you will not be getting this ultrasonic blue color because what you're, what you're seeing here is a color that is not available in North America. It's only available in other markets. If you're waiting to hear about the RX 450H Plus, the plug-in hybrid, then I have some bad news for you. Remember when they launched the RX in North America, they said that the RX 450H Plus information will be announced at a later date. And at the time of, re of recording this video, they still have not provided information on the RX 450H Plus. From what I have heard, the RX 450H Plus will not be available at launch. So if you want a PHEV, the NX is the only choice at this time. This is very unfortunate, as the NX 450H Plus is a great vehicle, and I believe the RX PHEV will be as great with more room and luxury. Hopefully, Lexus will be able to get the supply chain issues resolved and get these great vehicles coming to our shores. So let's look at the United States. So for the RX 350H, there's a lot of colors that are available no matter what trim or options you select. The gray, iridium, nightfall, mecca, the caviar, the black, the red, the green, and the white pearl are available on all trims. The only one that you would see here that is not available is the new color, the copper crest, which is only available when you have leather interior. And where you see an asterisk beside the color name, those are colors that are premium paint, which means that there is additional costs if you want that color. And for the RX 500H F Sport Performance, you can only get leather, which totally makes sense because the cost of the vehicle, you better get leather. And for the exterior colors, you can get gray, iridium, caviar, and ultra white which allows you to have red and black interior. And for the new color, Copper Crest, you can only get that in the black. And if I was in the market for a 500H, Copper Crest Black would be my choice. If you want to pause this video to review this grid a little longer, this is your opportunity. So now to the north. 
you can see that there's a smaller chart in Canada. The reason why is I've broken this down into the trims and the type of material that's available. So when you look at the RX 350H Premium, which uses Nulux, there is a very limited number of colors you can choose from. There's only really four colors, the gray, iridium, caviar, and white. So it seems to be the very standard colors. And it's very limited based on what interior color you choose to. Then when we step up to the RX 350H, the luxury and ultra luxury where you get leather, you get a little bit more choice. You actually at least get the copper crest and the red. Other than that, oh, you also get the Nightfall Mica. Lastly, you look at the RX 350H Executive, which actually has a better leather, has three options of the interior, and if you pick black, you have all colors other than ultra white. Other interior colors will have limited number of colors available. Now we look at the RX 500H F Sport Performance. Like the United States, it's only available in leather. There's two colors, interior, red and black. And when you look at it, they actually match the United States colors. So gray, iridium, caviar, ultra white, and copper crest. And if you want copper crest, you can only get it in black interior. I wonder how many of you would actually pick the copper crest. If I were in the market for the RX, as I said previously, it would be the copper crest with black. What would you pick? I'm wondering if copper crest will be more towards the younger crew, whereas the gray, iridium, mica, like the nightfall black, night, nightfall mica, or the caviar is more for, I would say, the elder generation who previously drive the RX. Let me know in the comments below. Again, if you want to pause to review this chart in detail, please do so now. So now it's spreadsheet time where we look at the features and the available packages and in the two countries that we're interested in here. So the 2023 RX 350H and the 500H. So before I start going through every single feature, I'm going to go and just talk about the first two rows here. So this is the legend. X means equipped, O means options, A means I'm guessing that this is going to be available, so don't mark my word for it. And question mark is I really don't know. The reason why we have an A and a, and a question mark is when we look at the pre-order brochure, it doesn't give a lot of the information, like not all information is in there. And then when I was gathering information about the Canadian trims, a lot of it was, um, I don't know. So I asked, that's why I guess that based on what I see from what I've, my previous experience, I believe it will be equipped. So let's start with United States. So in the pre-order brochure, you have the base, the premium, premium plus luxury, and then this is the RX 500H F Sport performance. Whereas in Canada, we have the base, premium, luxury, ultra luxury, executive. And then for the RX 500H, you'll have the F Sport performance two, and the F-Sport Performance 3. So now let's start off with safety. So under safety, we have the Lexus Safety System LSS Plus 3.0, which was introduced in the NX. So you can see that it's available on all packages. It doesn't matter in what country you're in. The digital latch with safety exit assist is the same. So now when we look at the next one, the panoramic view monitor, you can see that it's not available in any packages in the US, but you can add it as an option as part of the premium and all the way to 
to export performance. And in Canada, when you look at it, it's only available in the Ultra Luxury, Executive, and the F Sport Performance 3. Next one is Intuitive Parking Assist and the Rear Cross Traffic Alert with Auto Braking. So base model does not have that available, but then after that, it's available in, in all, all packages in the United States and it's available in all packages in Canada. The lane change assist is where I start having I don't knows. In the US, in the pre-order brochure, it doesn't say what is available. But in Canada, you will see that the Ultra Luxury, Executive, and the F Support Performance 3 gets that option. Same goes with the front cross traffic alert. Then the traffic jam assist, it's all optional in the United States, whereas the higher trims in Canada are the ones who get them. Something that I actually found in when I was learning about the packages in Canada, there is a heated front Lexus emblem. So the front Lexus logo actually gets heated I don't know if this is something that's only available in the cold package in the United States or it's available across, but it looks like it's to heat up the logo so that snow or ice will melt so that your adaptive radar cruise control will work properly. And that is available in Canada for all trims or all packages. But in the United States, I did not see that option in the pre-order brochure. So that's why it's don't know. Next is convenience items. So the power rear door, it's standard across all trims, but the only option you can get is the kick sensor. So United States, the kick sensor is optional. You can add it so that you can actually get the kick sensor but in Canada, it comes with the higher trims, like the Ultra Luxury Executive, and also the RX500H is standard for the kick sensor. Then, next one is the garage door opener, the home link. I did not see that in the pre-order -pre brochure, so that's why it's, I don't know, but in Canada, it's standard. The digital rear view mirror is optional in the United States, whereas in Canada, the higher trims are the ones that get it. The Lexus digital key. If you watch my video about the digital key, it's optional in the United States, and probably I would not get it myself personally. But in Canada, the higher trims are the one who actually get that digital key. But in the United States, it's optional. And then the 120 volt AC inverter, the 15,000, 1500 watt. Um, when you look at it, it's optional in the United States and only the executive or the F Sport, F Sport Performance 3 is the one that actually gets this AC inverter. The wireless charger is available other than the base in the US and any trim above luxury will get the wireless charger. Advanced Park is optional in the United States and I, I only see that it was available in the executive and I do not know if it's available in the RX500H. There's also a power window, a rear window sunshade, which I do not see as an option in the United States. And in Canada, it's only available in the executive, and I don't know if it's a, if it's available in the RX 500H. So under wheels, the RX comes standard with 19-inch alloy wheels. So in the United States, you can see that the base, premium, and premium plus comes with 19-inch wheels. In the premium plus, you can actually get an option of getting the 21-inch. They actually have different finishes, which I just blended all into one. 
Um, if you want to look at the finishes, you'll have to look at the pre-order brochure. And in the luxury, you actually get 21 inch standard. And then the RX 500H, you actually get a 21 inch uh, 10 spoke and it's in summer tires. The all season tires would be an option. And then in Canada, 19 inch is standard for the base and premium. 21 inch is avail is standard for the luxury, ultra luxury, and executive. Then when we looked at the RX 500H, it makes more sense for Canada to get the all season tires. This is one that I'm not 100% sure, but I believe for Canada, we get all season tires for all our new vehicles. Probably if this is something different, I'll probably have to make an update to this in the future. So when we look at exterior, um, we first look at the moonroof. So in base United States, it's optional. So you could actually get a vehicle with no moonroof. And then after that, premium gets standard moonroof. And if you want a panoramic glass roof, you will have to get the premium plus and above. And in Canada, base does not have a moonroof. And then premium gives you the standard moonroof. And then all the trims above, you will get the panoramic glass roof. Then aluminum roof rails. The base does not include, include the roof rails. And above that in the United States, you get the roof rails. And in Canada, it's standard to have all the that all trims actually get the roof rails. This color keyed rocker panel and rear valence is only for the R, uh, RX 500H and it's standard. Um, one thing I did not find is the power folding mirrors in the United States. I don't know if it's standard across the board, but in Canada, it's not available in the base, but available in all the trims for the 350H. And I don't have information about the F-Spark uh, performance ones, uh, if it's standard or not. From an educated guess, it is, but that one you'll have to double check with the dealership. So lighting, first one is the new interior ambient lighting. So the interior ambient illumination is base is single color, which is available on the base and premium in, in the United States. The 64 color, the thematic ambient lighting is available in the premium plus luxury and the F sport for performance. And when you look at Canada, it's similar. So any trims starting at the luxury and above will get the 64 color. Then the next one is the bi beam LED headlamps. So in the United States, it's standard across the board. And to get the triple beam LED headlights, it's optional upgrade starting at the premium plus trim. Then in Canada, when you look at it, we don't get the option of upgrading even if I selected the base. So, so you can only get the triple beam at the ultra luxury trim and also the F Sport Performance 3. So one thing that you would notice that we call it the triple beam LED, but from what I'm seeing here is in the United States, in the pre-order brochure, they don't talk about the head, the high beam and if it's adaptive or not. Because in Canada, like the R, like the NX, in the, in the United States, the triple beam is really just triple beam. But in Canada's version of the new NX, the triple beam system is actually a quad beam. So there's four lights because we also get the adaptive high beam system which is almost like the matrix led um, so in canada if you have the ultra luxury and executive and the f sport 3 which actually so-called has the triple beam led headlamps you will also get the adaptive high beam system 
and also the cornering lamps and also the auto leveling headlamp system. And that's why in the United States, I have question marks here because from my guess, it most likely would be optional, but I still don't know if the adaptive high beam system will be available in, in the United States as part of the RX. Lexus memory system. So in the United States, the base does not get the Lexus memory system. And it's available in all the other packages above that. And in Canada, it's standard across the board. The heated and ventilated front seats are similar where it's available all in all packages in Canada and not available in the base in the United States. And then the next one is the heated and ventilated rear seats. It's optional in starting at the premium plus in the United States and is available is actually included uh, in starting at the luxury trim in Canada. New Lux seats are only in the base and premium United States and in Canada the same thing. The leather trimmed interior it's available for premium plus luxury and F sport and in Canada it's the luxury and ultra luxury and also the F sport versions of the 500H. And then we have the semi alien A-line leather interior, which is um, in the luxury trim in the United States and in the executive in Canada. So I also saw the luxury seat design in the pre-order brochure, which is available in the luxury. So I'm assuming in Canada, it will be available in the executive. I don't know um, if the ultra luxury will get it or not, but it doesn't really say what is luxury seat design really mean is it the ones with the pattern on the on the on the seats i don't know and when we look at it the driver's front passenger and the driver's seat has 10-way power seats and that's available in the luxury in canada it's standard across all uh, trims then the four-way lumbar support uh, for driver and passenger, again, in the luxury and only available in the executive and don't know if it's available in the F-Sport uh, 500H. The power rear seats is optional for the luxury and F-Sport in the United States and also at the highest trim in Canada, the executive. And again, don't know if it's available in the 500H. The rear console with lid. So when you pull back that middle seat uh, console, you have two cup holders and there's actually a lid for you to store some information, like store stuff you want to store. But in the United States, the pre-order brochure doesn't have anything uh, on it. And in Canada, it's available from the luxury trim and above. Easy access power seats. So that is available in the premium and all the way up in the United States. And from what I see is in Canada, because we have the Lexus memory system available, I would assume that it's available in all trims in Canada. So interior features, you see that the heated leather wrapped steering wheel. So it's funny that I have a question mark for base. I'm assuming, yes, you would be getting a leather wrap steering wheel in the base trim of the 350H. And in the premium, it comes standard where you can have the optional heated wood and leather steering wheel. So there'll be some wood trims around the surroundings of, of the steering wheel. And it look it's more premium steering wheel. And that, and that is available in the Premium Plus and the Luxury. And in the 500H, you would get the three-spoke F-Sport steering wheel. So in Canada, it's base for the heated leather wrap steering wheel. And there's no information about the heated wood, 
So I'm assuming the Ultra Luxury and Executive will get the Heater Wood, and the F-Sport will also just get the three-spoke F-Sport steering wheel. Next is the heads-up display. So you would see that it's optional in the Premium Plus, and Luxury, you get it standard. With the F-Sport Performance, it's standard. And the Advanced Touch steering wheel, which is the, the buttons when you like when when you touch the the four, four direction buttons, you would display information on your heads up display. Um, that would be available in the same uh, packages. And in Canada, it's the ultra luxury and above. You would get that uh, heads up display and the touch the, the advanced touch steering wheel, and the suede interior door trim. In the pre-order brochure, it says that the luxury and the F Sport performance will get that. And in Canada, we don't really know. Um, I'm assuming it's ultra luxury, maybe executive only. We'll need to know that in the in the future date. The base system is a 12 speaker Lexus Premium Audio, and that is base for all United States uh, trims. And you can have an optional upgrade to the Mark Levinson starting at the Premium Plus. And then for Canada, you don't get the option of Mark Levinson. And if you really need a Mark Levinson, you have to pick the Executive or the F Sport Performance 3, which means you need to get the fully loaded uh, package in order to get the Mark Levinson. Next is Lexus interface. So the 9.8 inch screen. So the base and premium, and I'm questioning this, but the F Sport Performance will get the 9.8 inch touch, like, touch screen display as base. The premium plus luxury will get the 14 inch and you can optionally upgrade to the 14 inch in the premium and the F Sport Performance. And in Canada, the base and premium gets the 9.8 inch and all the other trims will get the 14 inch display. The last one here is climate control. The multi-zone called control with automatic recirculation mode. So this is really having the tri-zone uh, climate control. And you can see in the, in the United States, the premium plus and above, you will get that option. And in Canada, it's available across the board. A cold area package, something that's common in the United States and it's all optional, and also the 3,500 pound towing capability. And in Canada, when you look at it, I think we all live in the cold area. So that's why I have an A there. My guess is whatever's in that cold area package is available in Canada as standard. And the 3,500 towing capability is available in the Luxury, Ultra Luxury, and Executive. 350H will not get an F-Sport. So this is really only talking about the 500H F-Sport performance. And you can see that all these features are standard in the F-Sport in the United States. So nothing special to talk about. But in Canada, when we look at here, um, I have saw that most of the stuff are available as standard, other than I don't know if this six piston aluminum front brake calipers are part of it, because there's no nothing that states it, and also the black, the black brake calipers, I don't know. This has been a very long video. This is probably the longest video I've ever recorded in all the videos I've done on YouTube. Hopefully this gives you great insight on the new RX in North America. And I'm really looking forward to see more information about how it drives, how does the Direct 4 works in the uh, RX 500H. Stay tuned, hopefully I'll get a chance to um, tell you more about my experience on the new RX. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to comment, like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. You can also press that bell icon to get alerted when new videos are out. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Cheers.